Hi everyone, I'm Eileen. Welcome or welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I make pork shoulder. We usually make this during the holidays, Christmas, New Year's. This one's a really small one. It's for my immediate family. It's actually not for the holidays. Um, during the holidays I do purchase a bigger one and I do poke holes and I really didn't even take that into consideration when I was poking holes in this little pork shoulder but I ended up injecting it with all the seasonings anyhow. I use complete seasoning, Everglades seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, mojo marinade. You can also use sour orange and you can also chop up cilantro and add it to this marinade. I add all the seasonings to it and then I mix really well. I'll go ahead and add the salt in the marinade as well. Mix it really well. And then I went ahead and started to just inject the whole pork shoulder really well so that everything is completely marinated. And then you're gonna just let it sit for a couple of hours marinade and marinade or you can actually just marinate it overnight i usually marinate it overnight when it's the holidays because it's you know way bigger pork shoulder and i want it to get really good um seasonings When I go ahead and marinate the larger pork shoulder, what I usually do is poke holes in it, but I use a turkey baster instead to go ahead and insert all the marinade in all those holes. And like I said before, I do let it sit in the marinade for a good um, 24 hours or even just overnight, but I do let it marinate for a long time. After you're done injecting, go ahead and just pour the rest of the marinade that you have left on top and then flip it because you want the skin side to be up so that when you start to cook it, it gets nice and crispy. After you've marinated your pork shoulder for a couple of hours or overnight, you're ready to go ahead and transfer it over to your baking dish. You're gonna go ahead and place your pork shoulder on this baking sheet or baking dish, whatever you wanna use. You can even use like just your regular baking pan. You're gonna go ahead and pat dry the skin completely so that it's completely dry. That's the only way it's gonna get nice and crispy. And then you're going to score the skin or just cut through the skin really well so that you can get it nice and salty and also add or just drizzle some oil on top and make sure that you kind of just spread it throughout the skin because that is also what's going to help your skin get nice and crispy. Place whatever marinade you have left on the bottom of that pan um, and then this is the part where you're going to salt the actual skin of the pork and you're also going to drizzle that oil on there. Don't worry about making or thinking that you're going to make it too salty. You won't remember all that is going to be like really greasy so it's going to be running off the, um, the pork shoulder itself so it won't be salty, but you do have to salt it really well. You're gonna bake at 350, covered with aluminum foil, and then like the last five minutes, you're gonna uncover it and broil it on low for a good five minutes. Please don't walk away at this point because the skin can burn really quickly. Here is the pork shoulder after it's done and I've let it broil.
it was absolutely delicious and what we do from this point is just kind of just shred it into those juices that are laying in the bottom of the pan and it is absolutely delicious i highly recommend you try it please let me know if you do and how it turned out and thanks so much for watching i love making quick and easy recipes if that's something you enjoy please don't forget to comment like and subscribe thank you